<laughs> okay, so, born in, uh, I'm Camille Perrottet, um, and uh, born in France and raised in Paris, I began my artistic career drawing on the wall of my aunt. My first series was named Dika, D-I-C-A. Don't ask me what it means, I have no clue. <laughs> I was three years old. Wow. <laughs> I started my second series, Papier cul, drawing and painting on toilet paper. <laughs> Who was at the time individual brown sheets? I don't remember if you, do you remember? Are you old enough to remember those? I love it. <laughs> So I, I did those drawings and paintings at my dad's studio, who was an architect. And um, after that, I went like everyone to schools and art schools and got a BA in fine arts at Vincennes Paris 8 University, who was created just ever after 68 and who was amazing at the time, it was fun. But my real education has always been in the streets. And uh, any of the streets I went to travel, you know, in Paris, in Europe, in Italy, in Spain, in uh, New York, I love New York. When I first came to New York, I was fascinated. I was really completely in love with New York, and still is. And, uh, no, no, for, for the moment, that's fine. Thank you. <laughs> so, I started uh, working as a freelance photographer in Paris during the 70s, and uh, when I arrived in New York in 79, I started to paint in the 80s murals because I met those crazy people, you know, painting those big murals and I loved it and I said I want to work with them. So I started to paint. And um, after that, I met my dear husband who is somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I became an American citizen after Bush was elected because I thought I had really to, you know, I was living here, my husband was American, he had two kids who've been Americans, we, they became French also now, so. We are, we are all immigrants. So I don't know if you can see that. So this series is printed on um, brush metal and you can come and, and touch it, uh, it's okay, you can fall and it's fine, <laughs> you can throw it. <laughs> uh, I did not improve my English accent, but uh, everyone always told me to keep it, saying it was so charming, you know, to have this French accent, so I did it, sorry. I hope you can still understand me. <laughs> I'm sharing my time between East Hampton, New York City, Paris, and Basque Country in France. So this is the first image, and uh, as an artist, a privileged white woman and a mother, I had to take a stand against the horror that befell us on November 8th. 2018, when number 45 came to power in the US, in our country. The media and journalism have been under attack since number 45 was elected. His repeated declarations of some of our country's most prominent and well-respected news outlets as fake news have serious and dangerous consequences for our country and the world. Freedom of the press is a cornerstone of our constitution 
and our democracy. I decided on January 1st, 2017, to take a photo every morning with my iPhone of the front page of the New York Times. Using the app Sketchbook with my iPad, I have been making artistic and political statements on the issues that spoke to me the most. I layered photos, like you can see here, I took as well as images I found on internet and used emojis, text and drawings. You're going to see with the rest of the image. On top of the New York Times, so you see that the pictures you see in the background of the New York Times um, front page to add, um, and I put all those images or text or drawings, comments to add deeper dimensions to my work. So you recognize, of course, number 45. Image two, please. Okay. This is, I use, like you can see, text and drawings, text, more text. That's the front page of the New York Times. That was the big demonstration of women and in support of uh, Planned Parenthood. And we are under attack right now. So um, number three, Putin. So that's also interesting right now. Since the last few days, we've been talking a lot about Putin and Trump and what's happening, you know, in our country. Number four. So I don't know if you can read it. So this is fake news, and I played with the letters. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's perfect. Image if next. Okay, this is a photo I shot of um, at MoMA, and it was a multimedia installation. It was a video made in 1994 by the Japanese artist Teiji. I'm not sure about the pronunciation. Furu Ashi. And um, I, they've been uh, standing up. I just flip them up, uh, flip them down. And uh, those two naked bodies of supposedly lovers. And I, w I wanted to show, you know, the, the, bloody reality of war and how Everybody is affected, and especially the civilian people. Uh, next, please. This is an emoji. You re recognize, I'm sure, the Statue of Liberty, upside down. It's the image of number 45 in the background, number five, Num image seven, next. And this is about the atrocities of the world still. And this is, I, I found an um, Arabic calligraphy on the internet. And this is about peace and love. That's what's written in Arabic. And I, I love the contrast. Image eight, please. And that's a photo I took of the ground lobby of the, in the Rockefeller Center. And it was painted, it's an oil on canvas painted by Jose Maria Cert. He was a Spanish painter from 1876. He died in 1945. And that's the Rockefeller Center. It's those beautiful series of murals there. And so. Uh, 
different ways. So next, oh, this is, yeah, I couldn't stand it anymore. This is <laughs> a photo shot. I, I took a, a photo, I have a series I did about uh, self-portrait. So this is, uh, uh, I took the picture of my, one of my nipple and I drew, and I had a series of, I, I did a whole series. But on this one, so I took one of the photography and I add the text. And um, I just, you know, when you see, you know, the, all those, the king, you know, and the Arabi Saudi princes and, 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 and Trump, you know, they are all laughing, they seem to be so happy. And it's, what are they doing to women in this country and in their country, it's just despicable. So, uh, next, so this is this one, we are all immigrants, so I took images and plus the text, 